What happens when one team finishes working on their part of the project? Do they pivot on other tasks? Do they look for something else to do? Do they take PTO? What happens when a project goes over budget? These are all questions that the Agile approach to project management looks to answer. Agile grew out of a number of projects in the 1990s and early 2000s that showed how IT projects were being mismanaged. These studies showed that IT projects typically came out over budget, over schedule, or had difficulties adapting to the development process. Unlike traditional project management, Agile allows teams to test individual parts of a program and make changes accordingly. This allows for greater flexibility and more efficient resource use. While Agile was designed for software development, organizations such as digital content firms and media organizations can benefit from implementing this methodology. Recently, Agile has reached a wider audience. Construction, baby planning, and even recently new public radio programming have been using Agile to make things more efficient, cheaper, and effective. When NPR looked for ways to reduce the expense, time, and development of new radio shows, they turned to Agile. Rather than developing shows in secret and just hoping they'd be a success, NPR decided to change their process. By asking for and incorporating listener feedback along the way, NPR was essentially able to create a public beta test. This agile approach has led to several successful NPR programs, including the TED Radio Hour, Ask Me Another, and Cabinet of Wonders, all at an estimated third of the cost. The idea of using agile, in particular the Scrum methodology, for particular purposes other than software development, isn't so surprising considering where it came from. The idea for Scrum was first hatched by two Japanese businessmen looking at manufacturing companies in Japan, Honda, Toyota, and 3M, who were at the time using lean methods. After trying to develop a better method, they formalized the process and decided to name it Scrum. The founder of Scrum says it was created to build a backlog of stuff and to be able to get that stuff done faster. There are many areas where Scrum is being widely applied now, including construction, because building software is a lot like building a house, manufacturing, education, and even recently wedding planning. Wait, did you say wedding planning? Yep, even wedding planning. A project manager's wife recently decided to implement the Scrum methodology to plan her wedding. She created a bunch of tasks to be completed with a blitz planning session and created a Scrum board. As the wedding approached and things got hectic, she stuck to the plan. Soon enough, they were at a wedding exchanging I do's. If you're looking to plan your own wedding, or just implementing the basics of Agile, you'll need to understand the right tools. Agile seeks to eliminate many of the redundant processes that tend to embed themselves within project workflows. It's not for every industry, company, or team, but when implemented correctly, it can lead to higher ROI and faster time to market. To find out more about Agile, or for your own personalized product recommendation, check out our website, technologyadvice.com. Thanks for watching.